Hi, I'm Jess Garrett and welcome to Suns TV as we get ready to play our final home game of the season against Carlton. Here's what's coming up on the show. We talk altitude training in Arizona, tactics with the coach Guy McKenna, plus heaps more here on Suns TV. Carlton present a formidable challenge to the young Suns, but coach Guy McKenna reckons the boys are in with a big chance to send Carlton home with the Blues. Let's talk tactics. Flesh and blood, the opposition, yeah, they're in good form. Um, but uh, the ball bounces and it's a new game. Um, it's an opportunity in our last game at home and it said, I think it's important that we finish off and finish off strongly in front of our home crowd. Oh, look, no work being done ahead of the ball. It's all being done behind by the Hawks. Well, both sides. Oh, oh, are you oh, look at that. Tries to hand one to Campbell Brown. They might get out oh, of it. Oh, they might not. Well done, Brown. Megan will kick this goal. And they deserve to too. That's a joke, an absolute joke. Look, we've spoken to the group probably over the last two weeks. As you said, we've, we've lost probably 11 players over the last two weeks, which is unheard of. A lot through collision injuries, but um, it's, it's one thing to get the opportunity, but it's also another thing to grab it with both hands. And I think certainly some of the, the younger fellas have, some of the positional moves have, you know, uh, Lynchy into the ruck, down back, and Stephen May that's probably struggled a little bit down back. Through opportunity and injuries, he goes forward and looks really dangerous. So, um, yeah, as I said, one thing to get the opportunity, but the other thing is to grab it with both hands. It was to a dangerous spot. Good mark from May, they needed to react quickly, and he can drive it to Campbell Brown. Put it down his throat. Terrific kick from May. We probably thought Hawthorne were in the same vein of form. Um, OK, they lost Buddy before the game and Sirioli. Uh, and Gibson, one of their tall defenders. But yeah, Carlton are up and running. They want to have a, a, a red hot run into the final. So a, a, great, um, a great level for us, a great examination for us, just to see how well we can continue to compete. And again, it's that consistency in our effort. And again, good effort for three quarters of a game last, uh, last week. Now the, the test is to make sure that there's another three quarters to, to four quarters effort and see if we can get another win at home. On behalf of the playing group, but also the coaching group and certainly the footy department, we we can't thank them enough. I mean, through their loyal support, I mean, they've seen the boys grow. They're going to continue to grow, and again, the success when it comes, um, I think they're going to enjoy it, and so they should just as much as the players and coaches do. The Social Network. It's the segment where you're able to interview your favourite players or even the coaches. Here's how it works. Simply email your question along with your name and the player or coach you want to interview to digital at goldcoastfc.com.au. It's the same deal if you follow on Facebook or Twitter. Simply send in your questions and the boys or coaches will answer them on next week's show. And remember, if you can't make it to the game, you can still be a part of the Game Day action by chatting with us on our Facebook page or at Gold Coast FC using the Game Day hashtag AFL Suns Blues. Each week during the season, we put together a collection of quality performances and we ask you to nominate your Host Plus Quality Performer of the Week. It's really easy. Jump onto our Facebook page, choose A, B or C to be in the running to score yourself an awesome Gold Coast Suns merchandise pack. And remember, if you're looking for a quality industry super fund, get in contact with our foundation partner, Host Plus. Time now, though, for Suns Gold. Quickly again, May is a hard man to get around, Matera, quick kick, Megan, good kick, goal, nice answer. If it kills you, if it kills you, Set of clear, it's goal, that's a great place for Gold Coast Suns, just like Hawthorne are running away from there, Joe. The floater, yeah, Lynch, trying to contain it, gets it into Ablett's area, that's all you've got to do, put it somewhere near him and he'll goal, find a way. Goal. He will find a way. What an unbelievable kick. Then he gets the second handball through the middle of the ground. And then threads a needle. That's four possessions in a minute. That was a terrific lead out of the square. And that May. And again, May. Another contested possession. That's a contested mark. He's on fire. 50. Distance never an issue. Stephen May kicks his second. He's kicked 40, he's good at release. 
Francis Matera, has he got the leg speed? Great evasion, he runs through 50 Matera. This should be a steady goal. It is. For the very latest news and information and to access brand new Suns TV content every day, just head to goldcoastfc.com.au. You can check out 2012 membership options, player profiles, detailed coach interviews, plus heaps more. If you're a fan of Facebook, make sure you like our Gold Coast Suns Facebook page. It opens up a whole new world of competitions and chances to win exclusive Facebook prizes. If you're looking to immerse yourself in the game day conversation, simply follow at Gold Coast FC and include our match day hashtag each week to get in the game. This week on Spotlight on Community, we catch up with Corey Bell to reflect on the year so far and find out what's in store for the team moving forward. It certainly has been a big year in the uh, community for the Gold Coast Suns. The players and the coaches have done uh, a, a tremendous effort throughout the whole season and uh, we'll clock just over 5,000 hours next week, uh, being the first week of September to, uh, to round out a really good season. Yeah, this second year's really been focusing on uh, working to uh, strengthen the programs that we have around our, our three pillars of youth homeless, uh, domestic violence and the northern Gold Coast region and certainly the other work that we do in the other five areas being schools, clubs, indigenous multicultural and uh, fundraising and events. Yeah, the club, uh, the club consulted with uh, the community, the Gold Coast City Council and, and state governments to, uh, to work out uh, what are the, uh, the key social problems on the Gold Coast and they are probably the less popular ones but certainly the most needy and uh, it's been great to see that the, the players have really uh, worked hard to assist those in need. Yeah, the No Boundaries program's uh, been run in a partnership with AFL Cape York, the, uh, the MPA Council and the MPA College, and we've done two visits early in the year to, to the tip of Queensland, and uh, excitingly, uh, this time of the year, we bring the students down to, uh, to meet the players and attend a game at Metricon Stadium. I, I think the highlight is uh, the way that the players have really embraced all of the community programs in their second year. The first year, they're probably learning about what we stood for and uh, and getting to know our community partners. The second year is about them actually coming to us and saying that they want to take on more activity, more programs and uh, being involved with our 10 charities. The community is a, a, is a 12 month exercise um, for the club and uh, in some ways in the off season we actually get busier in the community department and uh, certainly when the players get back from leave we'll be busy out in the community even though it is off season. And I suppose the exciting thing for us now is we can review those and look into 2013 and look at uh, how we can raise more money, how we can uh, partner even with uh, better, stronger partnerships with those in need and uh, essentially um, support the community with the assistance they require. Woo, Suns rock! Good one. And yeah, that's about it. G'day, I'm Anthony and you're watching Suns TV. Go the Suns! The 2012 season coming to an end, the players will have a short break before getting back into preparation for 2013. Now a big part of that is high altitude training in Arizona. I 
I think Arizona is no different to the the preseason that you put the guys through in terms of their football. They, they get a little bit older, their bodies mature, and they're able to take and tolerate a little bit more load. So uh, what we try and do there is to to get the boys to really um, step up a level. And uh, I'm sure for the guys that are into their second and third preseasons, I find it very challenging. Yeah, if you struggle a bit, but uh, it's colder now, so. Boys. Uh, look, there'll be a lot of similarities in terms of probably the amount of time we're there, uh, but the group is obviously uh, progressing in terms of their fitness and strength, and so our plan this year is to, to take the camp to another level and make it uh, a little bit more physically demanding on the guys, and I suppose the major difference will be that we try and get a little bit more of uh, uh, elite sort of interval running into the boys in Arizona, so to try and stretch their uh, aerobic capacity as much as we can. The boys that have been there before, the uh, the idea of going back to Arizona, I think sometimes isn't that appealing because they know how hard it can be physically. So, in terms of the things like climbing Mount Humphrey, the Grand Canyon, and there's a few other things that we've got up our sleeve that they haven't done yet. I think that uh, whole sort of uh, environment of constant work is, is is part of the appeal for it. It's not only that it's physically demanding, it's the, the mental challenge of knowing day in, day out that you're going to be uh, faced with uh, challenges that you sort of haven't done before. I'm looking forward to walking back up. Um, the old knees uh, didn't like the uh, decline too much so hopefully uh, most of the guys that have uh, suffered injuries throughout the season now a lot of them that we've already um, have had surgery on they're, they're, they're in the sort of middle to later stages of their rehab uh, the plan is for the majority of that group to be ready to handle the start of the pre-season and there may be a few little variations on some of the things that we do for the camp but the reason that we've treated them quite aggressively is uh, to get to the point that we start the pre-season and you know, hopefully you know, 90 95 of our squad are able to do the whole camp. You got to leave it. Experience the passion and excitement of Australia's biggest sporting event, the Toyota AFL Grand Final, with one of many amazing packages. Book now for accommodation, flights, or simply a Toyota AFL Grand Final ticket package, including your choice of seat for the game's biggest day. For all the details, visit goldcoastfc.com.au slash grandfinal. Hi Bruce. Uh, the thing I love about playing footy at the Suns is just the camaraderie and uh, a great bunch of young guys up here and um, just trying to build for the future and, uh, and really um, teach these guys how to play AFL footy. Thanks for your question Nathan. Uh, for me, preparing for a game, I try to uh, just keep everything relaxed. I try not to think about the game too much so I don't play it over in my head. But for me, I've got a few little routines that I like to do. And that just uh, that starts when you get to the ground and just so you're mentally and physically prepared, you know, before the first bounce. Thank you. G'day Angus, thanks for the question. Um, I guess I never really got the opportunity to play against Andrew when I was when I was growing up. So uh, to be playing against him at AFL level is uh, definitely definitely something I enjoy. And um, you know that competition we have each time we play is just yeah, something I look forward to each year. And uh, yeah, favourite player growing up was uh, Chris Judd from the Eagles, and then obviously Carlton. If you're planning a trip to Metricon Stadium, then the new Megafan app is a powerful friend. The free Megafan app is the essential insider's guide to all nine major Queensland venues, including Metricon Stadium. You can check stadium maps and seating plans, view transport options for each venue, keep an eye on live scores, view stadium food and drink menus, and purchase tickets online. You can even view great sporting moments from each stadium. Megafan, where Queensland comes to life. After the break, we catch up with jumping Josh Hall, the man who turned his back on the Olympics to play AFL with the Suns. Hit up the Gold Coast Suns online store to secure your official Suns merchandise and memorabilia at the best possible price. 2012 adult Guernseys are now just $100, but only at the Suns online store. You can find it on the homepage at goldcoastfc.com.au. 
Looking for a present with a difference? Why not check out the Gold Coast Suns customised range, exclusive to the Suns online store. Personalise your Sharon, a coffee cup, notebook, even your very own supporters scarf and fan banner. Check out the entire range online and make sure you stand out in the crowd at the next Gold Coast Suns home game. Not ideal given the number of uh, uh, fit players we've got, but we certainly will uh, have a, as good a crack as we can and we'll get a team together from a lot of young Gold Coast junior talent uh, on top of about probably eight or nine players and we'll have a real go at Redlands up at Redlands on Sunday. Yeah, I think they cherish the opportunity to play at that level and to you know, put their uh, or exhibit their skill in front of recruiters and, uh, and and coaches at the Gold Coast Suns and in, in front of the, the I suppose the public to say you know I can play at this level. So that's that's a bonus for us. They come with some uh, uh, some ability to compete and and then also some desire to really prove themselves. So it just helps our guys to uh, perform at their level as well. There's probably a number of guys uh, you know who you could uh, pinpoint. The guy who played on the weekend, Tom Fields from Labrador. Well, he played his first game for us and it was just purely through uh, Labrador being finished, having the buy that we got to play him uh, with our of numbers and he's just a fantastic uh, key defender left footer uh, at this level um, in terms of the NEFL level uh, can he go to the next level not sure he's a father son type of player uh, related to Neville Fields or a son of Neville Fields from ex so uh, not quite sure where, where he'll end up but he certainly seems to have a fair bit of ability Oh, I think um, you, you just keep it simple, you know, when it's such a spread of people that haven't been coached by you before and you're not quite sure what they do know and don't know and, you know, the typical terms or the typical style of play that most teams adopt, you wonder what, they, what they've been taught and so you just try and keep it really simple, ask for a contest and, uh, you know, in the air on the ground and then certainly ask for a few minor details in terms of structural stuff and stoppages and then some defensive uh, mechanism stuff. So once you've uh, covered those sort of things, there'll be uh, too much more information could uh, certainly confuse guys, so we just keep it really simple. Josh Hall watched the Olympics with a keener interest than most, not just because he's a massive sport fan, but because in reality he could have been there representing Australia in high jump. But lucky for us, he chose AFL over athletics. Well, I had a, uh, an off-season in athletics and decided to play a uh, game uh, with a couple of mates just to, as a ring-in for, for footy. Um, I ended up enjoying the game. Um, I kept going, kept playing a few games and yeah, just sort of fell in love with the sport and got asked to, to come down and play a, um, a top-up game with the, the NEFL side and uh, yeah, sort of fell in love with it. Go yeah, boys. Pumps around. It was front and square. Kicks it's an open forward line. Chance here for Josh Hall. His first kick in over football. If he gets free, he had speed. He got within 50. Unselfishly kicks it across the face of goal. Well done to find Sanday. There was a big pull going to London or, or just representing the, your country at an Olympic level. It it's, is like the pinnacle of sport. Um, and that's how I saw it. Um, I guess for me in the last couple of years, I, I got a bit stale with it. I was pretty much training by myself at the track with no one around. So yeah, I was always in love with team sport and I think that sort of, in the end, was my decision to, to go to a team sport just because I love that so much. Inside 50, remember? I was very raw in the off season and, and coming through and still learning how to handball and kick and where these other guys have um, been doing it basically their whole life. This is a big win. This is the biggest win of the day so far. Just the ability to get the ball here, put some separation between himself and Kelmore, and then the vision, not just the execution, but the vision to look back inside. He could have blazed away a goal, but just the team first mentality. A terrific start. It was unbelievable. It was like a carnival like atmosphere. Um, I enjoyed it so much. Uh, the lead up, the, I guess the, the lead up from when I knew that I was going to play to, to walking out on the field was, um, it, it went so quickly, I don't really um, recall a lot of it, but um, yeah, having my family and friends there yelling out, I think there was a good 40 of them there, just, just screaming on the sideline and whenever I came on and off or whenever I got the ball or whenever I was close to the ball, um, yeah, it was just, just amazing. Well, see if he's learned from his first kick. This Good one will be better, and he kicks it straight through the middle. Josh Hall has his first goal in AFL football. The biggest thing I look forward to, to doing is having a, a full pre-season, going to Arizona with the boys and um, growing, uh, getting bigger, getting stronger, getting fitter. I can't wait to, to do that. That's obviously going to help my game. Look at the jubilation. Get Josh Hall out there. He'll be able to leapfrog that. 
Well, that's our show for this week. We hope you enjoyed it. Remember, get involved in the game day conversation right now on Facebook and Twitter. Our hashtag is AFL Suns Blues. I'm Jess Garrett. Thanks for watching. Enjoy the game.